so I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about my first day working at a state prison. It's been a while. It's been a month. Um, it went by super fast for me. But <clears throat> I've been wanting to make this video. Unfortunately, I'm super, super busy with a bunch of things. And maybe I'll make a, a like a life update. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to show you with you guys a little bit about my first day of work and how it went and how i feel um what i'm in charge of uh you know all of that stuff i can't really say much about like the prison specifically because i signed a paper so legally i'm on i'm not allowed to talk about a lot of stuff but i will tell you guys a few things that have happened to me personally and how i reacted to them but um yeah if you guys are interested then just keep watching so i started working at a state prison on the 17th of january and <clears throat> i've never really worked for the state so a job with the state was like a must for me because i just wanted to demonstrate responsibility <clears throat> so you know what better place in a, a prison um so my boss had me going to work at 815 that day and he was going to help me just, you know, get my ID because you do need an ID to go into the facility. And um, he was going to show me around and then, you know, just pretty much show me what I was going to be in charge of. Um, everything went well. Unfortunately, when I got there, they didn't have my stuff ready, so I couldn't get my ID until like later on that day. So my boss was super upset about that and he almost sent me home because how was I going to get into the prison if I don't have my, my ID? Finally, they let him know that they weren't going to be able to give me my ID until like 12 in the afternoon or 1. And they told him like she isn't allowed to go in there with their with her um, driver license. But let me get my baby. So anyway, they told my boss that I wouldn't be able to get my ID until later on that same day. So he was super upset. But they let him know like she's able to go in there. Just she needs to show her um, driver license or ID and yeah they let me in but honestly dude to get into the damn freaking facility it's like nine doors like you got to go through a lot of security and it's that's an everyday thing so it's like a hassle every damn day but i've been asked multiple times if i like my job and the short answer to that is yes i do i enjoy it i have a lot of great benefits with the state i do get paid monthly that's the only thing i don't like i they do pay me well i don't work a lot of hours um, at the most, eight hours, but I'm able to go home early if there's not much to do. My boss goes home at around 1.30, 1.40. So, you know, any time between 1.30 and 3, I can go home because there's really not much to do after that. So, yeah, like, he's very lenient too, but not because he's lenient, I'm going to take advantage. But he gives me a lot of freedom. He's very flexible too, so I don't go into work and I don't clock in for nothing um there's we have contractors there and they're pretty much counselors for the inmates and therefore the program i work for and in the entire state facility well the prison it's only four of us that manage the program so everybody else pretty much works for us if that makes any sense so they clock in they have like a set schedule for everything we don't we just you know show up do our work and that's how we go home um i do hold the master key as well to get into the facility and a lot of people don't like that i feel like because i'm new and i'm you know I'm, i am the youngest in the building so the i don't feel like they like that but i don't think much of it it's just the damn key you know like it's not like a big deal but anyway uh there's a couple of people in there that i already know from town they were super nice to me too um i met a lot of great people as well I, I made friends there and they're super super nice to me i i love them they're so kind and super funny too but um yeah what was i saying before all of this so yeah so my first day um my boss showed me around and he showed me how to get into work every single day so i have to go through security every single day and i have to ask for my my alarm because we all carry an alarm and for my master key because you know i can't take those home it's like a hundred thousand dollars for that the key but it's like a huge key it almost looks fake like the key to a castle every day i gotta get those stuff and we have some things called chits and i would go out you know to the back and get them for you guys but i am really lazy um anyway so they're just like little 
metal circles you almost look like the size of a quarter and you exchange those for your keys and your alarm and that's just how they keep track of what you have in your body like not your body in your person and what you have assigned to you so if they're lost they know it's yours that they're missing because your chits are still there so you can't get back the chits unless you give back the stuff you took so yeah um what else so he showed me around and I didn't know this. I knew I was working at a prison, but I didn't think I was going to work in the, like, in the prison, you know, with the inmates and stuff. So I didn't think I was going to, but I do. So to get to my office, I do have to cross the, one of the yards. Uh, the, the prison is divided into yards. So they have a lot of security, honestly. And, um, they're just, uh, for some reason they're segregated. I don't know. I don't care. But... I have to cross one of the yards to get into my office and the first day was a little intimidating because I didn't know what to expect and I was like oh shit like I'm really gonna cross the yard right now and there's a bunch of inmates and yeah sure enough like when we crossed the yard it was around the time that they were out for break or whatever and yeah we crossed my boss was like whatever because he knows everybody he's been working there for years so he knew how you know he knows how everything goes and stuff so i think he's considered a like captain i think his his job description or his title is equivalent to like a captain in the police department so he he's up there um like i said he he's super cool i, I like him he's very very lenient he's one of the best bosses i've ever had but anyway so he took me in through the yard and he showed me around he pretty much gave me the rundown of you know how to how things go and stuff and we went into the office he taught me how to do my work he taught me everything he wanted me to know and for i mean that day was pretty fast i i don't it was a quick day I, I didn't really have much to do he showed me a few things here and there and i got the hang of it pretty quick but at the end of the day he asked me like are you okay like are you comfortable with walking into the the prison like through the yard by yourself and i was like honestly no um, if you can wait for me the first day, I would appreciate it because I, I do feel a little intimidated. And he was like, okay, no problem. Like, I'll wait for you. So, um, yeah, he waited for me. And for this, hey, she has teeth already. That's why they're grinning on the, on the plastic. Anyways, so he waited for me. I got there the second day and he, again, you know, gave me the rundown of a, a few other stuff that I had to know about. Um so my second day he taught me a few other things that i had to do he told me i have a car these are the keys which i have with me too and he's like you can take my car if you need it if you need to go anywhere within the prison you can take it and he told me if you you know when you want to get break you can get break just let me know if you're gonna go out of town if you're gonna go in town just let me know what time you're gonna leave at what time you're gonna be back and you know that as long as your work is done then i have no problem letting you go so i was like okay cool and he let me choose my hours of work so i told him from seven to three is good right now eventually i want to start working in i want to get in at six and leave at two but for the most part i don't really stay until three most of the time because like i said i do have the master key and because the counselors in there get out sooner than i do i just leave with them so it works out for me and them because I have to open the gate for them and it's like convenient to them too. You know, you don't have they don't have to wait for the correctional officer to let them out, um, let them out of the prison, cause or the yard to be specific, cause I have the key so I can let them out. Um. So yeah, I don't really stay until three. I I I mean, if I have to, I will if I have a lot of work. But for the most part, I finish my stuff pretty quickly. And basically what I'm in charge of is attendance for inmates. So the program I work with, they offer classes to these inmates so that they can like rehabilitate. Is that the word? Is that how you say it? It's like rehab pretty much. So they're required to show up to class. It's like for school, like you take attendance, it's the same thing. So I take attendance for them and they got to be in class at least two hours. So a lot of the times we get like inmates that give us a super, super hard time and they don't want to be in class. They refuse they like they hate it in there and i don't know why like it's there to help them but they you know they just don't like it so they give the counselors attitude and um when i get the roster sheets i i see all the comments that they put on there and stuff and i'm just like oh my god like how do you guys deal with these guys telling you off and stuff and provoking you pretty much they're not allowed to respond back i mean they can but you can't let 
the inmates get to you and you can't argue with them because it looks wrong but yeah i i don't know how they do that i wouldn't be able to like deal with people like that all day and it's just not and it's not just one inmate it's like a class of like 15 so they have class in my building so i am around inmates all the time i don't work with them directly but i do see them in my building all the time because like i said i work there so it's four of us that run the program and then it's all of the counselors that pretty much work for us so they do the job and then they give us the rosters and all of the information we need and if we need anything from them we speak to them the counselors and for instance let's say one of the inmates um through i don't know like a binder at someone and he was excused from class the the counselor has to write down at what time the inmate got in and at what time they kicked them out for disrupting the class and um they give us that information and then they let they need to let us know what happened and then we you know based on the information that we get we decide whether this guy is going to get in trouble what it, you know what's going to happen with him the consequences that he's going to have in that type of stuff so that's kind of what i'm in charge of and honest to god i've never been in a place where there's so much freaking drama and i'm not talking about girls it's like inmates all the time and it's like a bunch of you find out i find out things every single day i can't talk about them unfortunately but it's like a lot of stuff that happened in there and i just hear about them and i'm like oh my god like how do you it's a lot of stuff so it gets to the point like girls almost she's most you know like we like gossip as girls but i'm like i've been working there a, a month and i'm like i've heard so many things i'm like shit like do i really want to continue to hear so many chismes because i do find out about a lot of stuff and my boss and the other girl i work with they're always in my office talking about these things so like i said i do find out about a bunch of things but i'm not allowed to talk about them and honestly they're nothing related to me so i'm not gonna are you are you tired i'm not gonna talk about them because there's not like they're not directly related to me yeah like i said it's it's a lot of stuff that i find out about it's fun i really don't when i go to work i don't feel like it's work to me it's more like more like like it's a job i don't take it like as a joke but i do like to be there it's super fun and my hours go by pretty fast as well so i'm not there dreading time i get my work done and it goes by fast like i said i have a i have a good time with everybody in there it's not difficult either it's not stressful there's days where i do have more work than others but for the most part it's pretty like chill i like it i really do um everybody in there gets along with me well so far but i have had a few instances or accident incidents in which i felt like super scared so there was this one day I walked into my office and um, I sat down. I was doing my work for about, let's say, I, I want to say two hours. And then one of the classes started. So classes, the classes that we have in there, they start every two hours. We have classes every two hours. So at nine, we have one that started at 930. So, uh, you know, it's there was inmates walking in and out. So I stood outside and i was watching the inmates get patted down and walk inside so i wasn't doing anything inappropriate i wasn't violating any regulations i was just standing there the correctional officer is patting them down as they walk into the building so one of the inmates saw me there and because i was new at the time well i'm still new but it, i had been there maybe a week because he realized that i was new he kind of wanted to like i don't know like they push your button they push you to see where you you're gonna get like to see if they'll get to you and you start making you know doing favors for them but he started like he was staring at me like so creepy and i was trying not to make eye contact with him but i can see him like from the corner of my eye that he's looking at me so finally i turn and i look at him and he starts singing to me like literally he was singing a song to me and i'm like is he really singing to me right now? but i didn't say anything so he can get written up for stuff like that and if they get written up they're sent to a different facility so they're like a higher level and they lose like privileges like visits and stuff it's okay mama she's sleepy guys just kind of disregard i'm gonna get through this video fast okay 
so yeah they they can get written up for stuff like that and they get in trouble so they're not supposed to so i could have got him written up but i was like i don't know i don't want any problems i'm not trying to like get anybody in trouble so i let it up i left it at that but he was he was literally singing the song that he was singing is by drake and it's called um hold on we're going home so he looked at me and i knew he was singing at me like he was singing to me because he's like like the lyrics of the song when it starts like i got my eyes on you and that's what he said to me and then he was like just hold on we're going home and stuff so i'm like what the hell so i told my sister about that and i screenshot it like the <laughs> the um the what's it called the lyrics to the song and she's like what the hell he gets not going home you know because he's a prisoner he's not gonna go home so yeah like i showed her and i'm like what the f like it was weird so then i walked in and the way that the building is set up there's two doors to get into the building so like i'm standing at a door and then there's like this huge hallway and then there's another one there's another door here but they both lead to the same place so it's just a long hallway and the inmate walked in through this door and i was standing on this door so when we he walked inside and i walked inside he could see me right so this other guy walked in and he like i was outside and i was standing there and then i didn't notice him to be honest i really didn't and then i walked in and he saw me that i walked in and he walked in with me and he looked at me he was biting his lips and i'm like what the f ew so that creeped me out super bad because that guy like he looks scary so i'm not nobody to judge you know i i don't know what his why he's there i mean i can search it up but i'm not gonna do that but um that too like i have um access to all of their records and stuff but i didn't want to search him up i just it's uncomfortable but anyway so he's staring at me he's biting his lips as he walks in and he's just like looking at me up and down and i made eye contact with him and i felt like he was like looking into my soul literally and i just like i i turned around and i just you know went into my office and i kind of just ignored him because it was scary so i told one of the correctional officers and he's like you gotta be very careful because they know you're new and they're gonna push your buttons they're gonna try to see like how far they can get with you and if they see that you're weak and you're letting them flirt with you and stuff they're gonna like eventually ask you for favors and stuff and you don't want to go there and i'm like oh my god i don't want to go there but that happened my first week there and then sometimes they have like yard recalls where it's like an emergency and if something if they think they're missing like an inmate or something they locked down the prison so the other day um they were going through i think it was like their supplies and stuff like everything that they own like they were going through that stuff like the prison they, they check they they have a list and they check everything to make sure that they have everything with them um and they were missing a bullet so because they were missing a bullet they shut down the entire prison and nobody was able to get in or not or out and this was in the night so they had like an emergency recall making sure everybody was in their cell nothing was missing and i mean sure enough they, they found you know some inmates with weapons and stuff um they ended up taking them away but you know little stuff like that and i don't i don't know how they got a hold of those stuff but that happened and that made my my job a lot harder because like i said if inmates are in class and it, it, they get out of class um the counselor is in charge and they're required to explain why the inmates got out of class so it's it's like a hassle for me every time there's a yard recall it makes my job super super hard because i'm going through every inmate through the list and you know taking attendance and it's, it's hard um, anyways because you're gonna hear my baby crying in the background she's like trying to go to sleep but she can't so um like i said incidents like still happen every single day and i can't really think of everything that has happened lately but um there was a fight on the yard the other day and it was like the the most the weirdest thing i've ever experienced because you can just feel the tension in the yard and i was walking into my office and you can feel the tension and i saw that everybody was looking at a like you know like they were all looking at the same direction and i'm like what's going on so then the girl i was walking with she's like hold on something's going on why is everybody looking that way and then she goes oh they're gonna fight and yeah sure enough they started to fight and um 
it's little stuff like that like the other day some inmates like when i walk into the restroom i pass by these classrooms so sometimes they see me walking into my office so i was wearing a red shirt that day in the beanie and i guess they felt like offended by that but they didn't say nothing to me then they were just like staring at me and i could feel it but um nobody said nothing so then two days later they complained about me and said they said that why was i allowed to wear all red that i was um flamed up flamed up and that their visitors are not allowed to wear that and the girl i work with she's like well she's cdcr like she's an employee like she's a state employee and she can wear whatever she wants and she was fight literally like verbally fighting with them and i'm like i could hear them like yelling but i didn't know it was because of me um but it all started because the inmates like they like to like meow and like bark like dogs when they're in class and she said that she felt like that was offensive to women so she went in there and they told them to you know cut it down because we didn't like it and that that set them off and then they started to talk about me and they complained about other stuff and it was just a whole mess but it's like little stuff like that where we deal with but overall i like i like my job it's super interesting every single day i go in there it's like something new so it's like geez man I, it's fun you know it's it's fun um it's not a game though like you're in a prison they're not there for missing like a day of church like they're there for real crimes and felonies so at the end of the day like we gotta remember that and i can't be friends with none of them i'm not allowed to hand them a pen so i can't be like here take this pen like i can't do that i can't hand them nothing and they can't hand me anything because you know if i do they will fire me if i do any of that i can't you know shake their hand hug them let alone kiss or i can't do none of that i can't have any kind of physical contact with them the only persons i can are the counselors and that's it. it it can be like anything they can't tell me hey your your hair looks nice you look nice today or you know did you do your makeup they can't do none of that because if they do they can get written up and then they lose privileges so it's a lot of stuff but i'll make another video a part two to this because my baby is not letting me record my video right now but i'm gonna post this for you guys because i do want you guys to see this and it's it's interesting i know that a lot of people don't know much about the prison system so it's like interesting to know these little things and details because it's like it's, it's new um, it was to me so i was like super astonished when i learned a bunch of a bunch of things from the prison so just you know stuff that we can do and we cannot um but yeah yeah sh 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 it's okay i'm gonna put her to sleep guys and um i will post this video as soon as i can as soon as i edit it i will put it up and I hope you guys enjoy it. I promise I will make another one and I will explain to you guys a few other things that are interesting and some other incidents that have happened without giving you guys too much information. But um yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Tell them bye. Tell them bye. Tell them bye. Bye. <laughs>